guys, so I'm going to be playing on Squadcraft. I haven't uploaded the Squadcraft video in almost a week now, and I don't know when this is going up because I have to edit and everything, but today's video is about all, like, we're going to be catching up. I did a lot off camera, mostly concerning the Iron Golem spawners and things, so that's what we're going to be working on. Again, like I said in other videos, please tell me uh, if you want the series to continue, what you like about this series, and what you don't like about this series. All right. Let's get into it. Things may look different right away. I'm not sure. It depends on how long you've been part of this series with me. Um, but yeah, we have two Iron Golem d platforms. You know, two... I don't even know what to call them because they're not two different Iron Golem spawners. They're just two different places for the Iron Golems. And this is almost entirely encased in Bedrock. It will be as soon as we get that wall. And a little bit more. And I'll come up here. And a little bit more of this wall over here. You guys can see that a little bit just down there. But yeah, you can count this on your own here. Because uh, I don't want to count it now because um, there's a lot. There's at least 30 in here, guys. I'll tell you that at least. And then if you go over here, there's 17 over here. So that would mean we have 47 if my calculations are correct. But yeah, there's 17 Iron Golem spawners up here. And I, this was a couple million dollars so that's pretty awesome that we were able to get that many iron golem spawners <clears throat> and we have a setup down here um all the chests it's not like the hopper system where it goes into those chests but it's like a hopper system where you go th through and in these chests is all the iron stuff and i go afk all the time you guys can see all this iron here pretty awesome and if we get too many poppies i just throw it out in this lava right there and then I go AFK at this spot and I just sit and I cover myself up because mobs have started to spawn um, and then if I die it will be collected in here I have died before but that was before I got that uh, AFK thing set up but as you can see the hoppers are having a hard time collecting oh whoops having a hard time collecting all this iron because um, you know, the iron, we have so much, so we're just going to go collect this real quick because I don't want it to despawn on us. Wow, there's a lot on the floor. I don't care about poppies, though. I hate poppies so much because you have to sell them one by one in shop. And I, that's like the most boring thing ever when you have to sell things one by one. But yeah, it couldn't collect all of this iron. Oh, I just collected these poppies back. I probably didn't get some iron, but it's okay. We're going to go back now because that's disorientating. Wait, let's see. Yeah, and all these hoppers are filled up with iron. It's crazy. So we're getting a lot of iron, and I will sell it on camera soon. But another thing that I've done, if we go over here, we don't even really need that door anymore. <laughs> but who cares? Oh, wait, is it here? Um, well, we have a sugarcane farm, but I also made a way bigger sugarcane farm. Let's go to this door. I should just take the doors out. Zach put those in, so I don't know. But yeah, I made a much bigger sugarcane farm, and I sell all the sugarcane I get from here. And then you guys saw those chests. Um, where is it? Like under the iron golem spawner here. You guys saw these chests, and we've gotten a lot of eggs. Let's say that. Where did I put all the eggs? Okay. Um, yeah, so we've gotten stacks and stacks of eggs. I think this whole uh, thing is full. And I just don't know what to do with them because we need a bigger pumpkin farm. Uh, that's what we need. <laughs> Look at all these eggs. I don't think any of these are full, though. But, uh, yeah, none of those are full. Are these full? <laughs> yep. So this is a lot of eggs, and it's crazy. And then all these chests have eggs in them. And I, that's why, that's the whole point of those, to empty out these. But yeah, we have a chicken, chicken spawners back there. I haven't actually checked this in a while, so let's go see how many we have. Um, okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight chicken spawners up here. That's awesome, guys. And we're not even really using the eggs, so we might turn this into like a meat farm or whatever, but they're constantly laying because I'm constantly in the space all the time. I have nothing really to work on other than to sell this iron stuff. A uh, dilemma that I've been going through is trying to figure out what to record on Squadcraft because really it's just this, you know, just this stuff. 
uh, me selling iron, uh, AFK, sell iron, AFK. That's literally my days on Squadcraft. So I've been having a hard time figuring out what to, you know, do with that. So if you guys have any suggestions, please put in the comments down below. You know, I've, oh, we're lagging. Lately, I have been asking you guys for a lot of your opinions and stuff, but that's because, whoa, what's happening? Oh, okay. Um, because I really do value it, and I really want to grow this channel as best as I can and try to figure that out. And part of that is figuring out what you guys like, what you want to see. Because I always see my see YouTubers that I watch, because like I've always say, I'm subscribed to like over 300 people. And I'm constantly trying to figure out, I mean not figure out, I'm constantly trying to, you know, think in my mind, okay, I want this person to do this, but they're not doing that because they have their own style. So for mine, I want to be more interactive with you guys and figure out what you like so you don't go through the same thought process of me whenever I'm watching some of my YouTubers when they play Minecraft or different games like that. But I'm thinking next episode will be a PvP episode, at least getting our army together and figuring out who we can trust, getting the faction base together. Um, it will actually be more of an army base, a training stuff, and I can definitely pay people now especially with me going AFK this much. So, yeah, next episode will be that, us putting together an army. Hopefully, that will be the next episode. And there's going to be a squad craft video at least once a week, hopefully. I'm thinking Mondays, Fridays, and Sundays will be squad craft videos. So that's three a week. So Monday, because it's the start of a... Oh, I didn't mean to go here. Because it's the start of a new week. Friday because it's kind of like the end of your school week if you have school or you know Friday taking it off um, and then Sundays because you're about to like it's the last day of your weekend and I'm actually recording this on a Sunday so hopefully I can edit the video um, today or not today you know I'll just get this out on Monday probably so tomorrow you guys will be seeing this or today technically okay let's grab this more iron but you guys see the iron just keeps coming in and coming in and it's kind of hard to sell alone because I'm the only one in my faction that sells it even though two other people come in the space they haven't been on lately so I'm literally the only one who's been working on our faction some of the people before have quit but I think if I pay them um, well if I pay them all will be well also Shout out, I forgot to say this, shout out to Mr. Munchie and Herogram. They both paid me 400k for me to be able to buy 23 Iron Golem spawners. And I already had five in my inner chest. And this, look, we have 28 more Iron Golem spawners there. But I want to leave those in there just in case we get raided. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Because if we were to get raided, like... I'll put it in once this whole entire thing is bedrock, but till then, uh, I'm not putting the rest of the Iron Golem spawners in because, um, you know, there's 28 in there, so if we need to bounce back, it will be so easy. The only thing that we won't be able to bounce back from is if there's a reset, and that would be devastating, and I think the next reset will actually end the series because you guys don't want to see us start all over again. <clears throat> but this series will be replaced by another series. And I tried recording a Squadcraft video about two days ago. I was extremely sick. And I it was just me coughing the whole time, sneezing, sniffing. And I'm doing a little bit of that today, but it's all good. I should be having friends come over soon. Um, so I think that's going to happen. And I'm going to get a video out for KRTG Skits. So that's going to be boss. And uh, shout out to Roman. He's having um, surgery, so everyone keep him in your prayers. Uh, it's not like, I think he's getting like bones chipped away or something like that. But yeah, shout out to Roman, and his link will be in the description down below. Uh, just pray for him, guys. Because even though it's not that bad of a surgery, at least from my knowledge I know of, you always want to keep someone in your prayers. But if you do not believe in like a god or something, then just wish him good wishes thumbs up so this video is really just me selling iron um, and catching you guys up so that is what you need to be catched up on 
and um, that's it for now. So I'm going to pause this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. I hope you enjoy this series. Again, tell me everything that you like. Tell me what you don't like. Um, and give this video a thumbs up if you watched all the way through. All right, thank you. And bye-bye.